I'm happy to say that I think the Church of Jesus Christ is one of the best places to serve. Um, you know, I was wondering where I would go after teaching mathematics. Uh, I love teaching maths as well, and I had a great seven years of doing evangelism through a school setting. But to be in a church and to be able to influence and motivate other people to be passionate for Christ, uh, I don't think there's a better place. You know, I, people said to me beforehand, when I was being interviewed for ordination, in light of the things I was doing for God beforehand, youth leaders, ICF work, camps, conferences and so on, they said to me, in light of all the opportunities you have doing evangelism and mission, why would you want to be a pastor? Now, you can read that question one of two ways. That says to me that some people think pastoral ministry is a little bit boring, not interesting, that you're having more opportunities for evangelism there. And I said to them, but wouldn't it be good if I could go into a church and preach and teach and model and inspire and encourage in such a way so we have 700 people living like that for Jesus every day. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's why I went to pastoral ministry rather than just staying and doing my own little ministry. And, um, and to see people step up in the ministry, to see our children. I've, I've been here for 18 years. I've seen the children grow up into youth, into now young adult leaders. They're having families, still loving God and seeing the next generation come through. I've seen kids go uh, from the night service to the morning, get married, move to the morning service, have their children, their children now back to the night service and have done the whole cycle and still loving and trusting in Jesus. And, and we've seen people go out to the mission field. Most of our missionaries we support have left our church to pastor churches, go to the mission field. Um, we can't support it any other outsiders because God is raising up people from here. We've got a, a young woman about to go to Burkina Faso, five friends learning language for 12 months. Well, that, that does something for you, Greg. Just to see this young woman who has, uh, is a social worker and she's been there seeing street kids who are being abused and wants to go and serve them and love them and share Christ with them. To see Millard in Lebanon who left this church, mm. now church planting, I was able to visit uh, last year and to meet the new believers to see the new church. Um, I've been to Bali to see some of our workers pioneering work in evangelism amongst Christian surface um, and our team will be there. To visit those places and to see that they've people have gone from this place because they've been captured by the glory of God have been captured by the wonderful message of the Saviour, Christ died for us and rose again, that we live in light of eternity. I see men and women inspired by that message and women make a difference. I mean, there's no place I'd rather be. And I say to pastors, have a big picture. Uh, look beyond the local ministry, see what God is doing in the world. Help raise people up to go to the world. Help raise people up to go into the local schools and scripture, whatever it happens to be, or to reach the Chinese community or the Arabic community. We have a great privilege as a church. It doesn't have to be dull and, um, and uh, depressing. Um, some churches are like that, and some, some people are burnt out, some people are hurting because of that. But I'm just saying it doesn't have to be like that. Uh, network, get together with other people. I want to see revitalization of churches. I mean, we're all a good church, but really re we revitalized this church. Mm. It wasn't down to 50 people that you had to restart, or 30 people. But, you know, 100 plus kids in our Sunday school network uh, now, as opposed to 10, mm. every generation is now represented in the church. Mm. The question for us is, God, mm. how do we reach more? Who else do you want us to reach? Yeah. How do we do it better? And, uh, and, I, and I think the biggest challenge for us is to do evangelism in this age where people are just so happy, just seeking pleasure, seeking money, I think Mark Driscoll was right. He said, Sydney is a good enough heaven for most people. Mm. Sydney is a good enough heaven for most people yeah. because of the beauty and the safety we normally have in this country. To get them to see that God is glorious, that Jesus is a great saviour, mm. and to embrace him rather than simply saying, oh, I'm Catholic, I'm Orthodox, I'm Anglican, to come to truly know Christ. Um, it's going to take a powerful work of the Spirit of God and mm. uh, the witness of God's people. So, so we're at it. Sometimes frustrated, sometimes think, Lord, please move faster. God help me to be able to be more courageous. Uh, but it's a good place to be. And I just say to people, if you want to get into pastoral ministry, great opportunities. Thanks.
thank you for sharing your love for Jesus, for the church, and for your family here at the Global Church Project. Thanks, Ray. Thanks. The Global Church Project is located at www.theglobalchurchproject.com. On our website, you'll find a wide range of interviews and resources for colleges, universities, and churches. I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.